This is the face of Oak Bay's deer problem. The picturesque community nestled on the outskirts of Victoria has been taken over by deer. They get into my backyard, I'm not sure how, but they, they find a way. They've become problematic. They poo on my lawn, they eat my plants. We've been in our house for 24 years. And some residents have had and enough. At first I thought they were adorable and now they are such a pest. But the overpopulation is not a new problem. The deer have been around for years, so in 2015 the municipality launched a trial deer cull. It didn't go over well. Uh, there was a lot of, uh, I guess, contention around the, the call at that time. So there was a proposal made that same year to try an immunocontraception. Immunocontraception, also known as animal birth control. I've just been doing a half mill. Cutting edge science is now being used in a pilot program to try to prevent the deer from procreating. First, researchers have to figure out exactly how many deer they're dealing with. A control group is identified and those deer are tagged. Okay, safety's on, there is a dart in the rifle. Dart. The team sets out early in the morning, searching for deer on suburban streets. No subtle task in the middle of a small city. Uh, it just is important that we make sure we do things right, that we aren't taking unnecessary risks or unnecessary challenges. Now it's time to look for a doe that's tagged to be targeted for the vaccine. Is there one there that doesn't have a collar? It doesn't take long to spot one. Fawn just came running into the forest here. So. Next, they lock and load the tranquilizers. And within minutes, their target is brought down the second one of the day. Let's just put her on this side of the tree here. The doe is carried out into the open, and now it's time to inject the vaccine. Where did she get darted? Darted left. left. Started left, so you want to inject it in the left. The big question, will it work? At this point, researchers are pegging its efficacy at around 70 to 80 percent, and the hope is to expand this pilot program right across the country. If it works, it's really going to be a win-win, and so almost uniformly, people are really strongly on board with what we're doing here. Right now, we can't think of any reasons why it wouldn't work somewhere else. She ready for reversal? Communities throughout Canada are eagerly awaiting the results, or better yet, lack of results of this groundbreaking study. That way, that way. The doe awakens, success for now. Yeah, a girl. And with the first phase now finished. Oh, there's one there. Researchers are hoping the solution is as obvious. We'll get that one next time. As the problem. Oh, no. Tanya Fletcher, CBC News, Oak Bay, BC.